Okay. Um, next up is posting toots, and I'm gonna play. Uh, let this play while I'm um, reading. Little music in the background. The name of the person is down here. All right, posting toots. Sharing your thoughts has never been more convenient. Compose form with CW enabled. Text. The main body of each status update can be composed using the text field. The default character limit is 500 characters. Links. Links must start with HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and are counted as 23 characters regardless of length. If you include links in your post, they must begin with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash or HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. All links are counted as 23 characters, no matter how long they actually are. So there is no need to use a link shortener to save characters. In fact, using a link shortener is actively discouraged. Mentions. Suggested mentions for both local and remote users. You can mention users by typing out their full address. E.g. at alice at example.com. Note that any usage of at word will be interpreted as mentioning the local user with the username word. If that user exists, if that user exists, only the username part will count against your character limit. The domain is not counted. Hashtags. Hashtags are auto-suggested by usage frequency. You can use a hashtag, you know, pound, to make your post discoverable to anyone searching for that hashtag. Hashtags can contain alpha numeric characters and underscores, but cannot contain numbers only. Custom emoji. An array of custom emoji are available in the selector. Each server offers a set of custom emojis you can use, like on Discord. You can use an emoji using its shortcode, like colon, T-H-O-U-N, king, colon, or by clicking the emoji face on the compose box and browsing through the custom category. You can also browse through and search for standard Unicode emoji. Attachments. You can attach either files or a poll to your status. Files. Thumbnail for attached media with options to delete, edit, or mark as sensitive. Click the paper clip to attach a file to your post. You can attach the following. Images, PNG, JPG, GIF, up to eight megabytes. Images will be downscaled to 1.6 megapixels, enough for a 1280 by 1280 image. Up to four images can be attached. Animated GIFs are converted to soundless MP4s like on imgur forward slash G-F-Y-C-A-T. That's G-I-F-V. You can also upload soundless MP4 and WebM, which will be handled the same way. Videos. MP4, M4V, MOV, and WebM up to 40 megabytes. Video will be transcoded to H.264 MP4 with a maximum bit rate of 1300 kilobytes per second 
and frame rate of 60 frames per second. Audio MP3, AUG, WAVE, FLAC, OPUS, AAC, M4A, 3GP, up to 40 megabytes. Audio will be transcoded to MP3 using V2 VBR, roughly 192 kilobytes per second. Editing Media Click or drag the circle on the preview to choose the focal point which will always be in view on all thumb thumbnails. Describe for the visually impaired. Oh, that's nice. Edit media to add a media description or choose a focal point for the preview thumbnail. By clicking the edit link on the attachment thumbnail, you can load a modal which will allow adding a media description or changing the focal point. Although optional, it is a good idea to add media descriptions that briefly describe what is in what is this in shouldn't be here. What is contained in the media? These descriptions will be shown when the media fails to load for any reason or when accessed by screen readers and other assistive technology. Setting the focal point is also optional but can make preview thumbnails look better when they are not shown in a 16 colon 9 aspect ratio. Polls. A poll with two one of choices expiring in one day. Click the bar graph icon to attach a poll to your post. Now that's this. You can add up to four choices. Each choice can be up to 25 characters. Polls default to one of single choice. Click on the radio button to switch your poll to any of multiple choice checkboxes. Polls can be set to expire in 5 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 6 hours, 1 day, 3 days, or seven days. Publishing levels. Level public, public timelines, yes. Permalink, yes. Profile view, yes. Home feeds, yes. Level unlisted, public timelines, no. Permalink, yes. Profile view, yes. Home feeds, yes. Followers only. Public timelines, no. Permalink logged in on the same site. Profile view, in-app or logged in. And home feeds, yes. Direct level of publishing. No public timelines. Logged in, a uh, permalink logged in and mentioned. Profile view, in-app or logged in, and home feeds, no. Posts can be published with four different privacy levels. Public, the default option. Anyone can see your post at the permalink without logging in. Your post will appear in-app in the public timelines. Your followers will receive the post in their home feeds, and anyone mentioned will receive the post in notifications. Your post can be boosted into other home feeds. Unlisted. Exactly the same as public, but with the following difference. Your post will not appear in Mastodon's public timelines. Followers only. A more limited delivery option. Seeing your post at the permalink requires being logged in on the same website as someone who follows you or was mentioned. Your post will not appear in-app except to followers browsing your profile and to anyone mentioned. Your followers will receive the post in their home feeds, and anyone mentioned will receive the post in notifications. 
your post cannot be boosted except by yourself. To effectively publish private, followers-only posts, you must lock your account. Otherwise, anyone could follow you to view older posts. Please mind that post privacy on Mastodon is per post rather than account wide, and as such, there is no way to make past public posts private. Direct. Send your post only to mention users. Seeing your post at the permalink requires being logged in on the same website as someone who is mentioned. Your post will not appear in-app except to anyone mentioned. Anyone mentioned will receive the post in notifications. It will not appear in the home timeline. Your post cannot be boosted. Do not share dangerous and sensitive information over direct messages. Mastodon is not an encrypted messaging app like Signal or Wire. The database administrators of the senders and recipients servers have access to the text. Use them with the same caution as you would use Form PMs, Discord PMs, and Twitter DMs. Content warnings and sensitive content. A status with a CW that is marked as sensitive content. One feature that Mastodon provides that you may not have seen on other social networks is the option to attach a content warning to your post. When a content warning is included, the status content will be collapsed by default and only the CW will be shown, similarly to an email subject line or a read more break. This can be used to add a summary or subject for your post, to collapse long posts, or to otherwise provide context or setup for the body of the post. When media is attached, a checkbox appears to allow you to mark media as sensitive. This hides the full media behind a blurred thumbnail by default. Adding a CW to a post automatically marks the post as sensitive as well. Okay. Using the network features. Follow and talk to anyone from any server. Browsing content through public timelines. A federated timeline. Uh, you see here at Snouts Online and this is at pixelfeds.social. Post within a public timeline. To allow you to discover potentially interesting content, Mastodon provides a way to browse all public posts. Well, there is no global shared state between all servers, so there is no way to browse all public posts. When you browse the federated timeline, you see all public posts that the server you are on knows about. There are various ways your server may discover posts but the bulk of them will be from people that other users on your server follow. There is a way to filter the federated timeline to view only public posts created on your server. The local timeline. Mind that local here refers to the server, not to a geographical location. Interacting with people's posts. An expanded view can be loaded by clicking a status in the timeline. You can perform quick actions on a post directly from the timeline, or you can click on the post to load an expanded view that shows extra information, such as a full timestamp, interaction counts, and thread replies, if any.
The following actions can be performed on a post. Reply to a post by clicking the arrow icon. Your toot will show up in the thread below the post you are replying to. It's this. Boost a post by clicking the cycled arrow icon. The post will be reshared on your profile. Favorite a post by clicking the star icon. The post will be added to your favorites list and a favorite notification will be delivered to its author. Bookmark a post by clicking the ribbon icon. The post will be privately added to your bookmarks list without generating a notification. Access a menu of additional options by clicking the ellipsis icon. Notifications. When other people in notifications column, when other people interact with you or your posts, you will receive a notification depending on the type of the event. Your notifications column allows you to view all notifications in the same stream or to filter for specific types of notifications. Mentions. Received when someone has mentioned you in a post. Favorites. Received when someone has favorited one of your posts. Boosts. Received when someone has boosted one of your posts. Polls. Received when a poll that you have voted in or created has ended. Follows. Received when someone has followed your profile. Following profiles. As long as you encounter a person within your app's user interface, e.g. the web interface on your home server or your mobile app, you can just click follow and you won't notice the difference if that person is on your server or not. However, if you come across someone's public profile hosted on a different server, there's an obstacle. That server sees you as just another anonymous visitor. Not to worry. You can simply copy the URL of that profile or of one of their posts and then paste that URL into the search function. If you are visiting a public page on another Mastodon site, see Using Mastodon Outside of Your Site. Search. The search function can be accessed from the sidebar. Mastodon's basic search allows logged in users to find toots containing a specific hashtag or to load a user or status directly if they know the URL or address. Searching for a term will show profiles whose username or display name contains that term as well as hashtags that match or contain that term. An example of a toot being loaded directly by its URL. Uh, this would be the URL up here. An example of accounts returned when searching for cats. Hashtags. An example of hashtags returned when searching for cats. Admins may optionally install full text search. Mastodon's full text search allows logged in users to find results from their own toots their favorites, their bookmarks, and their mentions. 
It deliberately does not allow searching for arbitrary strings in the entire database. In order to reduce the risk of abuse by people searching for controversial terms to find people to dogpile. The following operators are supported. Quote, exact phrases, unquote. We'll try to find the term inside the quote marks. This allows looking only for direct matches, such as, quote, look at my cluckers, unquote, to find posts explicitly telling you to look at someone's cluckers, whatever that is. Dash exclude. We'll exclude the term prepended by a minus sign. This allows filtering out certain terms, such as animals, space, minus cats, to find posts about animals without posts about cats. Plus include. We'll include the term after the plus sign. This allows searching for multiple terms that must be included, such as cat, space, plus dog, to find posts about both cats and dogs. Direct conversations, direct messages. A list of conversations containing direct messages. In Mastodon, direct messages are simply toots that have the direct visibility selected. Visibility can be selected per post, which allows changing the privacy level later in a thread. The direct messages column currently shows a list of all conversations containing a direct post. Clicking on a conversation will load the associated thread. A direct message in a thread. List timelines. Lists are subsets of your home timeline. You can create a list, give it a name, and add users that you follow to that list. Opening a list will load that list timeline. List timelines contain only posts by members of that list, as well as replies to you or to other members of that list. A list timeline. 